Hello and welcome to our latest unboxing video. I'm Eliza. I'm here at the Hatfield Public Library. Uh, it's right before the holidays. It's a little hard to stay focused because uh, we're all just thinking about, or at least I'm thinking about, you know, seeing my family and stuff like that. But I'm going to focus right now because I have a box of DVDs um, that I want to get out on the shelf. So I will go through those starting at random. We have Matt Damon, not really looking like himself. He looks much more just like a regular guy in this. The movie's called Stillwater, and it is about an American oil rig roughneck whose estranged daughter gets, gets put in prison in France for a murder she doesn't commit, and then he goes to France um, and decides he's going to get her out, but first he has to like learn how to live in France. So... Uh, redneck in France. <laughs> that seems like the premise. Swan Song, starring Udo Kier. It's a Todd Stevens film, and it's about a hairdresser who's stuck in a small town nursing home. He does not look like the kind of guy who would be happy to be stuck in a small town nursing home. But then he escapes to do his uh, former client's one final hairdo. And if you watched White Lotus and really enjoyed uh, Jennifer Coolidge in White Lotus, she is the client. I'm pretty sure she's the client. She's in this movie, and it just seems like she must be the client, right? Um, so, yay, that looks fun. Cry Macho, starring Clint Eastwood, a uh, story of being lost and found. Oh, it's based on a book, a one-time rodeo star, washed-up horse breeder, and then he takes a job from an ex-boss to bring the man's young son home away from his alcoholic mother. So he goes into Mexico to, I guess, kidnap this boy. And then they make an unexpected pair. Um, I mean, I would imagine there's some moral complications there. That doesn't, even if the mom is an alcoholic, it doesn't seem really great to just, like, take her son. Our Ladies... <laughs> <laughs> a must-see riot of girl power. So this is 1990s Scotland. Uh, Catholic schoolgirls go to Edinburgh for a choir competition, um, but are more interested in drinking and partying. This sounds like a lot like Dairy Girls, which I really enjoyed. It's not the same people. It's not definitely not the same people, but it seems like a similar premise to that TV show. Uh, the Eyes of Tammy Faye. Starring Jessica Chastain and Andrew Garfield. Hmm, this has such an interesting cover with the <laughs> What is going on? Okay. Uh, the Extraordinary Rise, Fall, and Redemption of Televangelist Tammy Faye Baker. Oh, I was going to say I'd never heard of her, but maybe I have heard her. Her husband was Jim Baker. Um, wow. They created the world's largest religious broadcasting network. Um, and... They were known for messages of love, but then they also ended up having a lot of scandal, um, perhaps not surprisingly. So, uh, my Salinger year, this stars uh, Margaret Qualley and Sigourney Weaver, and um, it's about a woman who gets hired as an assistant to the literary agent of J.D. Salinger. Um, She's processing his fan mail, but she reads the heart-wrenching letters from around the world. She starts becoming reluctant to send an impersonal standard level and begins personalizing the results. Oh, wow. So it sounds like she's trying to imitate Salinger. I don't know if this is based on a true story or not. Uh, Reminiscence, starring Hugh Jackman. Uh, da, 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 da. Wow, it says he's a private investigator of the mind. I don't really know what that means. Oh, okay, this because it's like a supernatural thing. That's not something that exists in our world. But he helps clients access last memories. Um, I think it's supernatural. Ah, uh, yes, an ambitious sci-fi noir. How far would you go to hold on to the ones you love? Ron's Gone Wrong. This looks like a animated movie. Barney, a socially awkward middle schooler, receives a malfunctionally digitally connected device that's supposed to be his best friend. Oh my gosh, it looks so sad. Uh, uh, it's about a boy and his robots discover the wonderful messiness of friendship. I haven't really, I don't 
remember reading any reviews for that one, but it seems like, you know, why not watch it with your family? Citizen Hearst. We got a lot of like interesting like figures from America's past, Ballinger and the Bakers, and now we've got Citizen Hearst. Um, so this is actually a documentary um, about uh, William Randolph Hearst, and he wow, it says 28 news. He controlled 28 newspapers, a movie studio, a syndicated wire service, radio station, and 13 magazines. So honestly, I think there are individuals now who control even more than that. So things have just gone further in that direction. Um, but he's definitely notable at the time. He died in 1951. So if you want to learn more about that guy, <laughs> we've got you covered. <laughs> Ooh, Werewolves Within, a whodunit with teeth. Um, new forest ranger Finn arrives, who's played by Sam Richardson, he arrives in the snowy hamlet of Beaverville to find the townsfolk divided by a proposed gas pipeline. Oh, that's very topical to us because we, uh, in this area of Massachusetts, were very divided about a proposed gas pipeline. Um, and uh, he, so he befriends the mail carrier, gets a tour of the town, quirky cast, snowstorm cuts off the power, traps the residents. And uh, I guess there are um, werewolves. So I actually watched the preview for this one because I was a little confused, um, like if it was like a horror horror movie. And I think it does have some horror elements, but definitely like the preview made it seem very like campy and on the funny side. Oh, we got a, just a Christmassy Christmas movie called Christmas Waltz. I don't think you can get any more Christmassy Christmas than this. Um, after Avery's storybook Christmas we wedding is canceled, a dance instructor helps her face her fears. Ooh, romantic. <laughs> We've got this one. This one is called Venom, Let There Be Carnage. I was very taken by the title of this. I just thought it was very funny. Venom, Let There Be Carnage. I guess it's a sequel to a Venom movie. So there's Tom Hardy, Woody Harrelson, um, da, da, da. Dear Evan Hansen, um, I, I'm getting deja vu like we got this movie before, but I think we just got the book before, and now we have the movie. Um, so this was a Broadway show, and then they made like a novel out of it, and now they've made a book about it, and it's about an isolated, anxious high schooler who just aches for understanding in the social media age. And this is called Wife of a Spy. Um, this looks really different and intriguing. Oh, my goodness. So it's set in 1940s, uh, I think, Japan. And um, on the eve of the outbreak of World War II, and... Um, so it's, it's a husband is secretly filming things in Manchuria, and then the wife receives a visit from a childhood friend who's now a policeman. Um, gosh, so I have to. She has to sort of like take into account what her has husband doing. This just sounds like um, you know a setting we don't often see and a perspective we don't often see, and sort of look at a historical time that we maybe don't know as well in the United States. Uh, very good reviews and uh, awards, stuff like that. Seems like a good pick. One you might not find as easily through streaming. I haven't actually checked, but you know we do try to get the ones that aren't just like everywhere on streaming so you have something different to look at. And this is our last one, and it's called Cop Shop with Gerald Butler and Frank Grillo. <laughs> it just looks like really kind of like uh, uh, one of those movies where people are like running around driving cars and um, shooting each other. Uh, oh, yes. Hmm. A con artist played by Frank Grillo hatches a desperate plan to hide out from lethal hitman uh, Bob Vidic, played by Gerald Buck Butler. I'm not going to do the whole summary, but I think you probably get the gist. And look, it's certified fresh. So that is my box of movies. Woo! And hopefully uh, we'll see everyone soon.